Hey guys, salut, it's Alex. So today we're making a meat lovers special pizza with Italian sausage, pepperoni, and meatballs. In the last episode of the New York City food vlog or the vlog, my friend Jimmy De Resta salut. made me a gift. And it's this bad boy, a pizza cutter made of two sauce welded together in the center. If you want to see the story behind this pizza cutter, hit the link now. To return the favor, I offered the guy to make him a custom made pizza. Because as my name, the French guy cooking, doesn't exactly suggest, I am a pizza geek. And this is what he wants. Pepperoni, sausage, and meatball. Cheese, yes. Spice? Yeah. The it's crust? Wild. Like this or thinner. No vegetables to screw up the texture. Smooth, smooth sauce. You know I'm a big vegetable eater. Right, not me. So <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Let's make it. And we do everything from scratch. First, the dough. Tosh, money. The following measurements make for four large pizzas. A kilo of flour, 600 grams of water, two or three grams of fresh yeast, and that amount of yeast is more than enough to make nice pizzas. Trust me, do not use 10 or 20 grams, it's useless. In the bowl of a stand mixer, add water, salt, and 10% of the flour. Add fresh yeast by diluting it between your fingers. Mix that on slow and gradually add the rest of the flour. Let the machine work for 20 minutes. So if you don't have a stand mixer, no problem. Just use the no knead method. It's a very specific method in which you only need time to knead the dough. It's amazing. I've made a, an entire video just about it. I'll put the link in the description box. Let the dough proof for two hours covered with a damp cloth or with plastic wrap. It will rise better in a warm environment around 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, no problem. <laughs> mm, ah, no, no, no. There actually is a way to achieve this. Turn on the light of your oven without turning your oven on. The light bulb and the closed oven door should get you around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. And you know, if that's not possible, just let it rise at room temperature, but double the amount of time. The dough should have at least doubled in size and be all bubbly. Get it out on the counter and divide it into four equal parts. With each one, try to form a bowl with your hands. I like to fold the dough back on itself. Use as little flour as you can, otherwise you are just gonna screw up the flour to water ratio. Place them in a container and let them rise a second time for four hours. And that's the most difficult part done, so now let's tackle the toppings. Sauce. I mean, it's very complicated for me to say sauce. Usually I just say sauce, but sauce doesn't mean sauce, does it? in a saucepan, add a can of crushed tomatoes, a teaspoon dry oregano, a pinch salt, a pinch pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil. And usually that's where I stop, but this time, to make it more naughty and more intense, we just want to add a drizzle of soy sauce, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and another one of hot sauce. Quickly cook that on medium heat, just to get rid of the excess moisture, then blitz it finely. Italian sausage. So I have found Italian sausages, yes! But if you can't find it, then no problem, because you can take any rustic sausage. Get the meat out, and then add a few, you know, fennel seeds, coarsely ground. It's not exactly the same, but it's the same. Meatballs. So I guess technically you can use uh, minced beef, shape it into balls, and call that meat balls, but there's no way, it's a meatball. In a bowl, soak three slices of bread in milk and then squeeze the liquid out. Add 100 grams of bacon, finely chopped. 400 grams of beef mince, one egg, salt, pepper, a spring onion, finely chopped, a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese, a garlic clove, grated. Mix that thoroughly, I am doing it by hand because I'm really enjoying it. Fetish. Let that sit covered in the fridge until you need it. Pepperoni. 
Ah, so I guess you guys in the US have no problem finding pepperoni sausage everywhere, but here in France, I couldn't find it anywhere. Do we give up? No, never. Let's make a cheat on pepperoni. So my first idea was to use Spanish chorizo, which is a red hot sausage, and it ticks almost all the boxes of pepperoni, except for one though, uh, the texture. And there is no way I could grind it and shape it back to make it more uniform. No way. But then I found Danish salami, which ticks almost no boxes but the texture. And that's all I need. Lay the salami slices flat and cut out smaller discs. Sprinkle them with a lot of paprika and a bit of smoked paprika. Let that sit in the fridge until you need them. So the dough is rested, the toppings are ready, it's time to bake that pie. P -p 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 pizza! Use a baking tray or better pizza stone or even better a baking steel. C'est hyper lourd et en plus c'est brûlant. So again, if you need more details, head over to the pizza series. Place it in the oven on a high position and then preheat to the max on grill or boiler mode. Dust your countertop with a bit of flour. Flatten the dough bowl gently with the pulp of your fingers. You want to push the air on the outside. Make it wide and uniform, about half a centimeter high or a fifth of an inch and a bit more on the edges. Transfer that disc onto parchment paper or even better, oops, onto a pizza peel, which in my case is nothing but uh, an old metal pegboard. But it works fine. A ladle of tomato sauce, not too much. Spread it in a spiral motion. A great amount of grated mozzarella. A good sprinkle of parmesan cheese. Some Italian sausage bits. A few meatballs. And a few of our pepperoni copycats, which should be soaked in water first. Otherwise, they will just burn immediately. And now drop that beauty in the oven, giving it a shaky shimmy and let that bake for about five to six minutes. Now it's time to cut that pie properly. A thin but crispy crust, a few umami slabs from tomato sauce and parmesan and bacon, smoke and heat from pepperoni, richness from sausages, body from meatballs, and of course, of course, pure pleasure from melted cheese. This is no authentic Neapolitan pizza. However, it's a delicious pie. It will make my friend happy. And that's the only thing I was looking for. That's, for us cooks, the most rewarding and satisfying thing to make people happy. I mean, what's the point otherwise? I'm gonna take the pie and go hide myself into my ivory tower and eat it by myself. <laughs> Stupid! So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this pizza recipe. And if you did, give it a like, thumbs up, and share that over your social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. You know the deal. Spread it like butter. Uh, comment this video with your favorite topping, your favorite pizza topping. I reckon mine is more like maybe the margarita or the marina. I like very pure, simple stuff. And last, people, click subscribe because I make new videos on Sunday and Wednesday and it's always about sharing my food adventures with you guys. Like, for example, the fifth episode of the New York City vlog where you will learn how we made that pizza cutter where Jimmy made that pizza cutter. But anyway, you can also see something completely different. Like for example, this video uh, where I made 11 creative recipes using only rice wrapper. It's really interesting and it, there is lots of inspiration in it. In the meantime, take care guys. Bye bye. Salut!